changing room is a big place of anxiety for me, but I'm learning to face the music. So we're gonna try on stuff, and if it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. It's not a big deal, just, it is what it is. So I'm at a plus size store, but I'm still gonna go to, I think, Gap, and a few other places. Old Navy is also a good option, so let's see how it goes. Okay, so when I try to move, we can turn it off again. Even the people who claim to do stuff for people with big butts and small waist, I never seem to find my size. And this is often, look at this, look at this. This is often what I end up battling with. And honestly, there's something I don't like. I feel like it's squashing my butt, you know. You guys, I don't like clothes shopping, but I really need to figure out. I really need to figure out where I'm at. I need to know what my size is. So we're going into the next store. They've told us we can't film, but we're gonna sneak film. Let's try it. Let's try that pair. I even like the way these look as well. Look at these. Are. Well, actually, no, not these. I like the way these look. Because I've been looking for like the white, like is that, wide that wide leg yeah. crop thing. Yeah, I can try it. But I don't think it will fit. No, no, I mean like the look of it. So, these aren't bad. Mm -hmm. So then I know. Oh, like this. On the side. Wow. Now I'm feeling kind of good. I feel like God just made me be like, not bad. 15. And you see, one of the things, I don't mind the little adjustment. This one is now hanging at the back. I have that huge bucket. Definitely getting these. Cute, right? Guys, I think I'm gonna buy these as gold jeans, but she's gotten me the next size up, so I'm gonna try these on. Those on now. I actually think these are good to go, and I'm gonna go with adjustments. And that's another thing. So this is too big, so I would just do that, and it makes it look more chic. Okay, you guys, so feedback. This is one of those changing room disappointment moments. Because honestly, because of the stretch in it, I really did assume that I could fit into it. So I am a bit disappointed. But upon, in spite of my disappointment, because I mean, I can get it on. But let me tell you, just because I can get it on doesn't mean it fits. There's a huge gap here which means just my thighs can't get past it but I think I'm gonna set these to be gold jeans and I think I'm actually gonna buy both pairs so I can actually because this is something I feel I can get a lot of wear out of so this would be this is what I'm gonna be using to track my weight loss to begin with these are a 10 regular and my goal is to get into a 10 but I mean I'm gonna take a that's to a little celebration I fit into a 12 and last time I came here I was an 18 so that's a huge difference and I'm happy that like God is making me um, see the right things and focus on the right things, you know what I'm saying? Um, and not focus on what I don't see because first of all, these jeans are so comfortable. It's also a great example of what I'm looking for for body politics. If I can find this material in every, uh, in every, you know, uh, color, I think it will really make a huge difference and I actually feel like we already have this material so This is a good research and development thing you guys. I'm not gonna let anything discourage me. I'm not gonna let anything make me Feel sad because normally right now I would have gone home to cry. I'm gonna be so real so shout out to all the ladies who cry in the changing room because They're already at a plus-size store 
know what I'm saying? It's not like you're in a regular store where you could say, oh, they don't make things for us. Now we at the fabric store, and they still know it. And look at me, that everyone's like, goals, I've had surgery, I've done all sorts of things. And you can see, it still doesn't fit, and I'm trying. So don't be too tough on yourself and understand that it takes time. As normally, you see it looks good here. See, this is one of the major issues with my jeans. I'm still finding jeans fabric wool. The next one I wear, I want you to help me find. But what I found is that jeans, they used to bleed. Mm -hmm. Not all, Sha. Okay. So let's see what she's doing. We're just going to invite that at the back. And that's basically what it takes for me to get into a pair of jeans. I'll buy and then I now have to work on it. So the second pair, same issue. We mm -hmm. bagger. And these jeans, they are the largest size that I could find. So me, I'm still wearing 16 jeans. I think my goal, if I can get to like 10 US, that's like 14 UK. But yeah, grab it. Also, I, you can change the style. You know what I mean? Let it like uh -huh. So I want these to be skinny jeans because they have enough stretch. So I'm changing it, you know. You have to modify your clothes most times. So all those Kim Kardashian and a lot of people you see, they have people, they, they do a lot of adjustments to their clothes. Come on. How many inches do you take it in? Three inches at the waist, guys. Three inches at the waist. To let you know, because if I'm to buy jeans with this kind of waist, my leg, my leg and my bum cannot enter. It cannot. So, yeah, and, and the bottom, just a little, a little squeezing. Yeah. So you guys, this is how I custom make my jeans. And this is why, sorry, I want to make jeans at Body Politics. Does it? She doesn't let it be permanent. If I so, if I add weight, I can, I can lose it out. But I never lose it. Tell them. So that's how we do the jeans. So at least you guys can see what we've done to adjust it. You'll see what happens at the photo shoot.